adoption of the euro is the end result of a long process of meeting the formal uh, entry criteria, but even more importantly, for preparing the country and the economy for fully benefiting uh, from the participation in the largest currency area in the world. To prepare a country for a successful uh, uh, existence in the euro area requires major structural reforms, which euro adoption or not are in the best interest of the country because they help to uh, strengthen the growth potential and the adjustment capacity of the economy. And this is particularly true for a country which is a catching up economy uh, such as Romania. The governor made several uh, references to other countries. I have nine countries in my little universe in the commission but that I'm responsible for. And one is uh, Slovenia, which was the early joiner and in the past two years, we worked on fixing the problems that <laughs> were not fixed before entering. And uh, I have Lithuania, which is now entering uh, the EU, and we very much hope that this will be another uh, a way of uh, going about this and will be more of a good example for uh, Romania and the other countries that come uh, later. Romania had and pursued misguided uh, macroeconomic policies prior to the crisis, which then created major imbalances. Not surprisingly, when the crisis came, Romania hit, was hit very hard. Uh, Romania is the, the solid, black, uh, solid uh, uh, blue line. Uh, the red line is the kind of average of those Visegrad four countries that are still outside the euro area. And the yellow line is the euro area. And we all start this story, you know, the film, the movie, in uh, 2004. And what we see is there kind of Romania steamed ahead at a, I would say, um, dangerous speed. And what came after the crisis is, of course, a rapid uh, decline, um, a, a badly hit economy. But the good news is that a, with all the, 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 the difficulties that this created, a high unemployment, a major adjustment need on the external side, and a galloping uh, a public debt and, and deficit uh, when the crisis hit. With the help of three joint consecutive uh, EU IMF uh, financial assistance program, and with the support of several facilities from the World Bank and knowledge from the World Bank, these large macroeconomic imbalances have been fully corrected. Um, I fully agree with the statement of the governor that uh, Romania has never had as strong fundamentals as it has now. So if you look into first the fiscal part, what we see there is that deficit shoot up, almost you know, reaching you know, dangerously high levels. But in fact, Romania is by now a country which reached its MTO last year, actually one year ahead of a very ambitious uh, uh, plan. A, with all the problems, and I will come to that uh, underlying this, but the beauty of reaching the MTO for a country is that from now on, the country can fully uh, a, a, a enjoy the benefits, of the fiscal benefits of growth, because there's no need for further structural adjustment. And needless to say in this room that there is plenty of need for those fiscal benefits of growth in education, healthcare, and public uh, infrastructure. Of course, we need more than just money. We also need good implementation, and I will come to that point too. But at least from this level of abstraction and macroeconomic uh, view, uh, this uh, is a very comfortable position. And there was a lot of sacrifice going into reaching this position. So I will come to this point too, that, uh, and the governor already mentioned this, uh, turning back <coughs> is, is, is a very costly uh, thing. And the other important thing to take home from this chart is that Romania managed to stabilize public debt at around 40% of GDP 
still much higher than before and still higher than uh, a, many uh, strong uh, countries that entered the Euro area had um, a, at that time, and I'm referring to the, to the Baltic uh, countries. But it is very far from the alarmingly high levels that we observe in some of the Euro area countries. So there is a good starting position despite uh, an increase there. The other important uh, a, a area where there is some success, and again, I think this stands, uh, 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 puts uh, Romania into a different, uh, so to say, group or club in Europe, is that the economy started to regenerate the jobs that were lost after the, uh, the crisis. Not fully yet, but at least it's on its way to, to recreate these jobs, which is absolutely essential because Having a job is the best way of avoiding uh, uh, poverty and social exclusion. There's no substitute for that. Social support schemes are important. Uh, Well-designed ones are even more helpful, but there is no substitute for, for having uh, uh, gainful employment. The other important uh, achievement of Romania, and I think, again, this puts Romania in terms of macroeconomic performance and fundamentals into a very I would say, exclusive group, that it managed to correct its external imbalances while growing. We have many European, uh, many countries in the Euro area that managed to, or was forced to correct the external imbalance, but in many cases at the cost of deeply depressing the domestic economy. And what Romania managed to do, which shows its fundamental strength, is to correct, in fact, uh, if we take also the kind of EU, transfers into account, even positive territory, um, without uh, uh, depressing uh, the domestic um, economy. And finally, uh, the governor said that no one is here to, to praise him. I'm here to praise him and pay tribute to, to the excellent monetary policy, because the other major achievement in this uh, period was to bring inflation into the uh, target zone um, uh, of the a, a, a central bank. And in fact, for core inflation, keep it there, while in Europe, in many countries, uh, deflation trends were very strong. So I think this is, again, an important thing. And for what I don't have a chart, but I, I would like to also mention paying tribute to the national bank's work, is that the banking sector weathered the crisis well and capitalization remains strong reflecting also rigorous banking supervision, which I think is a national asset and should be uh, 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 valued uh, accordingly. So these are the achievements of six years of hard work of seven uh, consecutive governments, led by three prime ministers and nine finance ministers and budget ministers, many of which actually I've worked with during the past five years but also uh, a, a, a hard work by uh, a, the National Bank and the Financial Supervisory Authority where we had more stability uh, during this period, so numbers are lower. Um, but these results were also achieved at major sacrifices uh, uh, of people in country. People who lost their jobs, civil servants whose salary were cut, a, and also people who had to pay higher taxes, higher energy uh, prices, and people who worked in state-owned enterprises and had to undergo major uh, restructuring, which is always a scary moment in anybody's life. So these hard for results now put Romania into a very comfortable position to start the real convergence or, or continue the uh, real convergence and these are results that should not be given away so easily. In fact, they should not be given away at all. So what needs to be done at this stage? You know, reaching the euro and, and getting to the, the, the adoption of a euro is, is end of a long road and a long walk. But it's better start the long walk with the first step in the right direction. Um, so what we would like to, to point out at this stage is that a, the country needs to use this uh, good fundamentals and the good uh, macroeconomic environment to pursue its ambitious uh, 
policy reform policy agenda. And the Euro adoption could be, the goal of the Euro adoption could be a good anchoring in this uh, respect. Fulfilling the criteria of the Euro, uh, the Euro area membership goes beyond uh, quantitative reference values. As the governor pointed out, and I cannot agree more, sustainable convergence with the Euro area economies is absolutely key for this. The assessment of whether a country is ready for the Euro area is not is, of course, rule-based. But within these rules, rule-based assessment, uh, the structural weaknesses, including governance and institutional framework uh, related weaknesses, will enter with great importance and may pose a risk simply because they may pose risk to a smooth and successful existence in the Euro area. In this regard, I would like to mention the uh, close cooperation with the single supervisory mechanism, which again we see as a uh, important element of uh, towards the uh, joining the euro area. It is not a formal requirement for uh, euro adoption for the very reason that SSM was created much later than uh, all the agreements on how countries will join the Euro area, but it is and could be an important uh, way of creating the trust with the other uh, member states. And the word of trust when we talk about joining the Euro area is also very important. At the end of the day, you are joining a club where there are certain rules and there is a trust-based dealing with each other much more than only uh, rule-based uh, things. In this regard, again, Romania is extremely well positioned because it has a banking sector which is fundamentally strong and sound and the supervision which is well respected. And the EU IMF, joint EU IMF program will end with a soon to be launched comprehensive AQR stress test that can further instill uh, confidence. More broadly, the financial, in the financial sector, Romania has already started a, com a comprehensive balance sheet assessment in the insurance sector, and the ASF has made significant progress uh, towards strengthen strengthening its supervisory capacities and more broadly turning itself into a modern European non-banking supervisory institution. So the European Commission would encourage Romania to use the current period of strong growth and stable macroeconomic environment to accelerate the reforms and the successful completion of the EU IMF program, which is currently is off track, uh, would be a major step uh, forward in this regard. It would also be a very important positive signal to the market and all with all the uh, benefits uh, of this. The outstanding structural reforms in this uh, joint program um, could greatly contribute to all these uh, important underlying uh, uh, processes that are needed for Euro adoption. The EU structural funds, and better use of them, could significantly comp contribute to those uh, infrastructure investment that the governor uh, just uh, pointed out uh, that is necessary to reduce uh, uh, regional uh, uh, differences uh, within the country. The systematic under implementation of the public investment budget is a major source of concern in this regard. So this is a little bit of the qualification to the good uh, macro number of reaching the fiscal target that it's better be based on a good implementation of the investment budget, which at this, case, at this stage is not yet uh, the case. The promotion of competition in, in the energy market and the deregulation of gas prices for residential consumers is also an important step forward um, a, a improving the functioning of the economy. The liberalization for uh, corporate users or, or, or producers was an important step in this regard, but the next one needs to be uh, taken. It is also important to further uh, uh, implement the restructuring of large loss-making uh, state-owned enterprises in the energy sector and in the transportation sector, and generally uh, to strengthen uh, corporate governance and the competitiveness in these industries. 
partly because uh, these countries actually, uh, these uh, companies uh, pose a major uh, risk to the budget, um, and also cause problems with state aid uh, regulations, as uh, will be apparent in the coming uh, weeks. The Romanian banking sector weathered the crisis very well, but still uh, there remain uh, a major stock of non-performing loans that is continuously de decreased now since uh, last uh, March. I think this process needs to be uh, continued. And I need to mention that homegrown legislative initiatives that can hurt the banking sector is always lurking in a way there as a, a risk factor. So this is better to be avoided. The new fiscal code which uh, we all agree that has major uh, positive elements in terms of making the uh, uh, tax uh, uh, system more conducive to uh, compliance and low cost of tax, uh, uh, tax uh, regulation compliance. At the same time, we would like to see their measures that are in conformity and in line with the agreed uh, fiscal uh, uh, targets and make sure that the implementation and introduction of them is uh, carefully done so that those fiscal targets are not uh, uh, endangered. A, we had a very good uh, a, a discussion on, on this with the minister, and we very much hope that uh, the spirit that I just mentioned will be the one that will guide both sides in this process. And finally, I would like to mention administrative capacity in the public sector, which is absolutely essential to have a modern state and a state that is more a help to the private sector than a drag on the private sector, which after all creates jobs and growth. And in this regard, again, uh, we were encouraged by the ambitious plans, but we'd like to see implementation. So the Romania's uh, a program, a joint EU IMF program, will end this year. Um, but the country, as like any other EU country, is now fully integrated into our surveillance system, which is what we call the European Semester. This will ensure that the European Commission uh, continues to promote and support economic reform in Romania. We just published our uh, uh, regular uh, 2015 country report with a significant part on imbalances because Romania was also selected as one country, uh, one of those countries uh, that need an in-depth review under the ma macroeconomic imbalances procedures. And Romania was found to have some imbalances and the governor uh, 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 referred to, to the area where these imbalances are found um, with the um, net international investment position. But this is the second mildest category in this uh, uh, system. So again, Romania is very well positioned here, and I think it reflects the improvements uh, that I just mentioned. So to sum up, where are the, where are the main challenges and how do we see uh, you know, the, the first step in the right direction on the long, in the long journey to, to Euro adaption? First of all, maintaining fiscal and financial sector stability, accelerating the pace of structural reform, developing the infrastructure and using European money wise and full, improving uh, state-owned enterprise corporate governance and uh, restructuring of loss-making uh, companies, fighting poverty, which again the governor so eloquently explained uh, how major the differences are in this regard within the country, reinforcing uh, administrative capacity and policy coordination within the government and maintain the momentum in fighting corruption. Again, here, Romania is becoming the standard for other countries. So I think we are encouraged uh, by these uh, uh, results. So Romania had hard fought uh, achievements in the past few years. It should be quite rightly proud of it, but it should also build on this. As in the past, the European Commission will be a loyal partner in helping Romania in furthering its structural reforms, and at the same time, as it's our mandate by all member states, we will closely monitor the development and report on this to the public in Romania and also to the public in the European Union. Thank you very much for your attention. Mulțumim și ultimului panelist, domnului Sechei, și mulțumim și dumneavoastră totodată pentru curiozitate și pentru participare.